Hi, I'm Ian Johnson from His Amazing Glory Ministries in Auckland, New Zealand. And um, today I just want to, well, first of all, mention the fact that we've got a conference coming up in May, May the 23rd to the 25th in Auckland, uh, called the Light of His Glory Conference. It's based, uh, the venue is Nine Mono Place in Ellerslie in Auckland, which is um, uh, easy to find, good accommodation nearby. It's going to be a great conference, uh, my, uh, myself speaking, Ian Clayton, uh, from Hastings and uh, international speaker and Grant Mahoney uh, from Auckland who's also an international prophetic speaker and uh, look just invite you to come it's going to be great conference is called the light of his glory and uh, just as a foretaste I just want to just tell you a little bit today about um, uncreated light I mean it's something that really spins my wheels I don't know about you but I get really excited when I think about uncreated light you know the book of Genesis said that on, on day one, God said, let there be light, and there was light. Um, and it wasn't until day four that he said um, he'd created the sun and the moon, the stars, uh, as um, calendars, really, calendars and clocks uh, to measure time. Uh, light existed four days before the sun, moon, and the stars. So there's an essence in there of uncreated light. It's God himself is the light. So I just want to look just quickly at Genesis chapter 1 and verse 1 to 5. And um, I'm going to read it. In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void and darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called light day, and darkness he called night. So the evening and the morning were the first day. That's Genesis chapter 1, verses 1 to 5. You know, the Hebrew, uh, what it says in the Hebrew in, in those verses is basically it's saying the first fruits of God, yod heh vah -he, created out of himself heavens or dimensions. Now, it's a dimensional word. It's not just a... It's not just a, a, you know, it's not just a place. It's a, it's dimension. So God created out of Himself dimensions. It's not limited to one or two dimensions. It's multi-dimensional. Then it says He created out of Himself eretz, which is the Hebrew word. Uh, it's again multi-dimensional. Um, today we say eretz Yisrael for the land of Israel. It means land or places, but it, it's more than that. It, it, eretz is a dimensional. Um, it's for dimensional places. So uh, it it's existed uh, in a formless and it was empty and full of darkness. And it says, um, upon the face, the pornem of the surging mass of waters. In other words, even though it was um, dark and void and empty, it, it had within itself the surging mass. And so God said, let there be light. And into the surging mass, the Holy Spirit brooding over it brought out of himself uncreated light. And it's this uncreated light that God is wanting to release back into the sons of God right now. It's uncreated light, not created light. We run around trying to do things according to the calendars and clocks in the heavens, the sun, the moon, the stars. Look again, I'll just stress that they're just calendars and clocks to mark times and seasons, the real light is the uncreated light of God. And God's wanting to bring us to that place of walking in uncreated light. And the Rauch HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit of yod Hey vah it says Rochaf, or brooded or hovered over the face of the swirling mass of waters, the liquid, or the may or the uh, Mayim of God. So this is a swirling mass of liquid. yod he vah -he, it's in the name. Because uh, in that name is like the beginning, the end, the past, the present, the future, all of power and might, light and uncreated light uh, is in him. So that name, out of that name, out of that personage, out of God, he spoke uncreated light. The illumination out of the light contained in yod he vah -he. Uh, In that instant of speaking, he revealed the illumination contained within his own name. 
And so he released uncreated light into the earth. And this conference that's coming up, the light of his glory, uh, I want to just, uh, I'll be teaching on some of these things about the uncreated light of God. Ian Clayton's got some amazing stuff to be teaching and Grant Mahoney's got some amazing stuff. Look, I encourage you to book in. Uh, book in uh, by going to uh, either Moed, Moed Ministries, M-O-E-D, Moed, means appointed time in Hebrew, moed-ministries.org. Uh, and uh, on there you'll find a registration form. Or you can email grant at moed, M-O-E-D, dash, ministries.org and uh, register for this conference. I mean, we've got people coming from the USA and Australia and uh, probably other nations, but, you know, and I just, so I just encourage you to come because I believe that there's a real, going to be a real turning point, a real shift as we begin to see the uncreated light of God manifest in the sons of God. Hey, I'm looking forward to seeing you at that conference. And, um, you know, I, I just, um, well, I don't know what to say, except I'm really looking forward to it. There's, a, there's such a season of expectancy in my heart. So come to the Light of His Glory conference and uh, just, just come.